Some decisions are easy to make, like if you want Brussels sprouts or cupcakes at your birthday party. But some decisions are very hard and takes a lot of creativity to find out what's the best way. The Bible tells us about a king who had to make a very hard decision. This is a true story and it starts in the book of 1 Kings chapter 3. One night God appeared to the king in a dream. God asked him what he would like to give him. Solomon could ask God for anything. He could ask for riches, lots of riches, or maybe long life, or his kingdom had no enemies at all. But that's not what the king requested. King Solomon asked God for wisdom. He wanted to know how to take good care of the people God had put him in charge of. What he asked for made God very happy, so God gave the king a wise, understanding heart. But God also gave the king riches and honor, and King Solomon became a great king. Every day the king would sit on his big, beautiful throne and judge for all his people. The people would come to the king because he was in charge and because he was very wise. They would tell the king their arguments and the king would decide who was right and who was wrong. So if one man's cow walked into another man's garden, the king would make the man with the cow pay to replace the food his cow stepped on. Some of the decisions were easy, but many times the king had very hard decisions to make. One day, two women came to the king. One of them was holding a little baby. We will call the one holding the baby Cora and the other lady Ada. Ada, the woman without the baby, spoke first. Oh, King, live forever. Mm. May we bring a request before you, sir? Okay. Thank you, thank you. Um, so this is Cora, and my name is Ada, and we nice live to together in the same house. Mm. And um, within a few days of each other, we both gave birth to our firstborn sons. Oh, congratulations. Uh, yes. uh, anyway, something dreadful has happened. Oh my. Something horrible. Really? So, a few nights ago, Cora, was sleeping and she woke up and found her baby dead. And so while oh I was my. asleep, she came and swapped the babies so oh that my. I had the dead baby. And when I woke up, I was shocked to see my son was dead. Mm. But when I looked at him, I know it wasn't my son. And I look over and she has my son in her arms. That is not true, that was your baby. This is my baby and he's alive. Now how was the king supposed to know who the babies belonged to? There was no one in the house. No one else had seen those babies. No one else had seen whose baby had died. They didn't have DNA testing or video cameras at that time. Sometimes you and I are faced with things that seem way too hard to solve. Maybe it's your homework you don't understand or maybe it's something you can't figure out. Maybe it's a problem with a friend or family member that seems impossible to fix. When you find yourself in that place, stop and pray and ask God for wisdom. Ask him to help you use creativity and see the problem in a new way. God knows everything and he can help you find the answer. God helped King Solomon find the answer in a very different way. Your Majesty, this is my no, baby. Is my I baby. know my look baby. Look at his look little face. He looks just like son. Me. They might have gone on, but King Solomon interrupted them. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Enough. I know what I must do. Okay. Pull the baby out, and we're gonna split him in two. Then you can have half, and you can have the other half. Oh, I guess that's fair. No, 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 please, your majesty, if it pleases you, please, please let her keep the baby. Oh yeah, see? Let please keep let her keep the baby. My baby. I don't want anything to happen, man. I see. Okay, thank you. Give the baby to her. It is her baby, because she desired it to live. Only a mother who cares about her baby will want her baby to live. Solomon gave the baby to Ada and sent them home. God gave King Solomon wisdom to find a new way to solve this hard problem. If you ask him, God can give you the wisdom to figure out hard things in a new creative way as well. Ask him to help you see things from his perspective. He may not remove the problems you're facing, but he may give you peace in the middle of them or help you look at them in a new way. Bye.